It's the goat from the dream! Or at least the head of it. Welcome back, Trash Pack. We're playing some more Mundan. I did a little bit of cheating, looked at a walkthrough to get past this first part. Uh, I did a spoiler-free one, so I don't really know what to expect. I just know kind of what we need to do next. And first thing I need to do is take a look at this. Rest in pace, I guess? I don't know. Rest in peace, if my school Latin can be trusted. Yeah, so rest in peace. Cool. Alright. And then we need to come up here, take a look at this. The painting of the burning barn is gone. I must find it and its creator. Okay. Well, anyways, now that I've gotten that taken care of, I'm going to cut here in a minute. And when I do, we will be at the next thing we need to be doing. Um, so what I missed, you see up there, there's a woman like singing and looking at us. This is what I missed. I didn't notice this before. Also, she's got some friendly goats. Hey, little girl. Lovely goats you have. All right. And we got a paper plane that's just kind of floating along. Don't know what her deal is yet, but I'm pretty sure I need to go find that paper airplane. Oh, here we go. This isn't weird at all. I like how it just kind of zooms in on her anytime I look in her direction. But this is what we need to be focused on. Because this is what we want. Some items you toggle inventory use. So, sun's ray over chapel over gravestone? So do we have to come to the grave at a certain time of day? The little girl sent me this drawing. Something about the shadow of the chapel? Hmm. Interesting. Did you just move the sun? Wait, what? Excuse me, what the fuck? The shadow of the chapel points exactly to this rock. Oh, okay, I see. So, we need to go examine that rock then. I bet that's where the key to the gravestone is. Oh my god, we're actually making progress. Oh wait, it's pointing over here. God, I'm stupid. I'm a great big dumb. Oh, the music just got real ominous there. Wow, if only I had an item in my inventory for just that occasion. What the fuck? Use it, please. What the fuck? Okay, now it works, I guess. I don't... I'm so confused. Oh, he's got something to say. There, by the big cross, is the graveyard. Okay, thanks. Okay. See? And we're looking for Grandpa's grave. Let's clear off some of these headstones. Um, is this Grandpa's grave? Grandma's grave. Okay, so Grandpa's is this... Wait, oh, what? The grave is empty. Time to come... Time to confront Father Jeremiah, the priest. Now can we go into the chapel? I get the feeling that he's not going to be happy. Let's go kick this guy's ass. Oh, now the door just opens. Um. Ow. Ow, I wasn't...
wasn't expecting my hand to freak out. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? E, you again. It's always me. Thanks for getting me in here. Not long ago, I taught some people in Troy a similar trick. Ha ha ha, get it? Trojan horse. So, what the fuck just happened? So wait, did we help the evil demon get inside of the uh, church? Is that what the idea is here? Curtain, what are you doing here? Didn't you get my letter? Okay, so this demon used us to get inside the church, which means this town is now infected. Apparently, once a demon gets inside a church, the whole god protection thing stops working. It's not like the very existence of the building keeps them at bay, I guess. It's just the front door. If they can get past the front door, they're golden. Ooh, we got a new radio frequency. Greetings, Father. May the Lord be with you, my son. Your letter. I got your letter, Jeremiah. You wrote that Grandpa is dead. Dead and buried. A fire in his barn? Very tragic. They met the hay must have caught fire. Your Grandpa and his beloved pipe. He must have dozed off. Why are the windows boarded up? They, well, yes. It's in case of a storm. There was something on the radio. Aren't those the initials of my grandfather on that wooden box? Yes, F and C with the flower symbol. Florin Caminita. Look. A candle? The baptismal candle of your grandfather. You should have it. Light it tonight before you go to sleep. Put it on the window sill. In remembrance of Flernan. You're lying. I found my grandpa's grave empty. You left him in that charred ruin. We tried to recover his body, but we couldn't get to it. The place is cursed. Don't go back there. I must prepare the sermon for Sunday. Stay in your grandfather's house tonight. Don't linger. Tomorrow you leave on the first bus. Wait, Father Jeremias. Okay. Well, I mean, we let a demon into this church, so by tomorrow he's going to be possessed. And everything's going to be real fucking bad. That's my prediction. I think we just kind of doomed this town. But that girl helped us do it, so I wonder what her deal is. Interesting. Also, uh, it's gotten a bit later, it seems. Um. Alright. I think I'm going to need this here in a sec. Oh. I get the distinct impression that things are about to go south. Yeah, look at auto saved. All right, boys. Yep. There we go. So what's coming for us? Some things frighten you. Fear can slow you down or even paralyze you. Interesting. No fear! No fear! No fear! I'm gonna stab it in the butt. Watch this. Ah! Yeah, boy! Wait, it broke my pitchfork? Wow. I fear nothing. So the hay came to life and attacked me, huh? Can't say that's what I was expecting, but, uh... You know what? Maybe lighting the hay on fire makes sense all of a sudden. Oh, God! What just happened? There's hay on my face. 
Why is there hate on my face? Is the hate dangerous? Oh my god, is the hate the enemy? Gosh, I always knew hay was gonna be the death of me. I knew it. I knew it all the time. Stop it, bro. I don't know what's happening, but you've got to fucking cool your jets. All right. So we need to place this shit on our windowsill or whatever. Place item from inventory. Okay, here we go. All right. We did it. Don't know what that accomplished, but we did it. Interesting. All right, we finally made some progress, everybody. Even if only a tiny little bit of it. Which means we are headed in the right direction. Um, I assume I'm supposed to go to bed now. I think we're done with day one. I never did find Grandpa's pipe, but you know what? Who fucking cares? Wait, was that there before? What the fuck? This wasn't here before. Is this thing gonna do the thing again? Or is it just gonna zoom in? Interesting. What's this? Who put this here? Oh, that's new. Okay. So I guess for the time being, I just want to explore the house for a bit. I should make sure that Grandpa's bedroom is placed correctly. Grandpa used to think pictures in here were more than just decoration. Oh, we got to put the candle in the right place. But which one? Not that one. Oh, here we go. There's a candlelight coming from the bedroom window. Okay. So I know which one to put it in now. Got it. Silly me not doing it correctly before. Oh, oh my god, close the fucking window, you bitch. There we go, jeez. My guy is kind of a dumb sometimes. Okay. So what we want to do is actually place it here. And then bam. But I don't know what we do now. This is pretty spooky, by the way. Frosty the snowman will fucking eat your soul. Okay. Do we have an objective? Let's check the journal. Find ignition keys, stay overnight in Grandpa's house. Okay. So bedtime. Difficulty of enemy encounters can be adjusted in the settings. Well, they don't seem especially tough just yet. My boy. Oh, what the fuck? Grandpa used to put it on his chest before he went to sleep. To fend off evil spirits. Oh, um, okay. Never heard of that before, but you know what? At this point, we'll take whatever we get. Oh boy, everything's gonna be real bad here in a minute. Staying overnight at Grandpa's. To sleep like this, you would have to stay like perfectly still, right? 
Because if you like rolled over a bunch, you would just like, oh, it'd be so uncomfortable. Okay. Close this. We made it through the night. Might as well save, I guess. Hello, little girl. What's your deal? Watch out behind you. Find the little girl outside. Why was he telling her to watch out? There wasn't anything back there. Whatever. <clears throat> All right. Oh, hey, it's the goat. I want to pet you. I want to pet you. Okay, we have to find the little girl. Who could be quite literally anywhere. Let's see what the journal has to say. Find little girl outside. That's pretty vague. Um, the goat is that way. Let's go up this way first. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I found her. Wow, that was fast. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I guess it doesn't matter now. It's over. Oh. Oh, no. Did Grandpa make a deal with the devil? Everything does not have to be lost, my friend. Always away, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> okay. So Grandpa wanted to get home alive, so he made a deal with the devil, which invited spirits into his life, and now he's paying the cost for his deal. All right. Well, that sucks, but Grandpa, that's kind of on you for being a dumbass. Deals with devils always end like shit. Oh, we're in the church? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. Oh, this is bad. Alright. It's the goat from the dream! Or at least the head of it. We just... We're taking the go-head, I guess. We are taking the go-head. Oh, there's not a safe place, though. Damn. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's the painter guy. The painter. I should take shelter underneath the big trees in the graveyard. Take shelter. Yeah, okay. Come on. Well, we're, we're only... There's a light in the graveyard. Interesting. All right. Okay, now what? Investigate the light? Who's there? I had a vision. I saw you in the war. Did Florina show you? She always was a peculiar child. Those were dark times. And dark times are upon us again. You must bring the head to Walther. He can tell you more if he so chooses. A fellow soldier of ours in the war. Our corporal, actually, although he wasn't much of a leader. Florina, the little girl, is his niece. Where can I find this Corporal Walther? I haven't seen him for many, many years. Your grandfather used to visit him in his bunker. He brought him supplies. You should do the same if you want to speak with him. He has always been a drunken eccentric, and the war made him worse. Where is the bunker? You have to follow the street up the mountain. It's far, too far to walk, so I suggest you take Florina's Merville. What are these supplies Grandpa brought to him? Florina gave me this key for safekeeping. Maybe you can find out more in his study. Here you go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Father. The Lord be with you. Whoop. Okay. You've been given an item. So we got the key to that weird room in the house now. Of course, we have to actually survive long enough to get down there. Alright, boys. I'm gonna get back to Grandpa's house, and then I think that's gonna do it for this episode. 
Shit really hit the fan and fast. Yeah, so I guess the rule of church is if you get past the front door of a church, you can be as demonic as you want from that point. You just have to get through the front door. I didn't think uh, Jesus protection worked that way, but uh, apparently I was dead wrong. All right, let's get this closed. Um, that's not the right one. This one? All right. We have officially saved. Um, what's going on? Thought something happened, but I guess not. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the rest of the Munduan playlist or Munduan. I don't know how it's pronounced. It doesn't matter. Um, check it out. This game's pretty cool. If you want, you can play it for yourself. I don't think it's, like, super expensive. I don't remember the exact price, but it is on Steam. Um, and also, I've got other videos in my place you can check out. Maybe sub, even. Alright, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye!